CAR T cells have really been a very dramatic and exciting approach to treating patients with uh, a variety of different malignancies, but right now predominantly uh, B cell malignancies, targeting large cell lymphoma through CD, uh, targeting CD19. But I think with those results looking as promising as they are, there's now a big move to look at a variety of other targets that could be, uh, could be addressed. I think uh, the other targets include uh, going after things like CD30, which would be expressed on Hodgkin lymphoma patients, and there are trials that are underway to do that. There are studies that are trying to understand targeting the microenvironment, so targeting, uh, for, for example, CD123 with a goal to really work against macrophages and the stroma that appear to be supporting the growth of malignant cells. Uh, that, again, might be a very promising therapy. And then in T-cell lymphomas, there is a focus on how we can target the actual malignant T cell. That's a little more tricky because clearly the T cell is the effector cell and the T cell is the target cell. So how to do that in a way that you only go after the bad cell and not the good cell is challenging, but a lot of work happening there. I think the future really lies in how to target solid tumors and other diseases. We've really focused mainly on liquid tumors, leukemias, lymphomas, and the like, myeloma. But uh, for the future, getting after breast cancer and uh, lung cancer, etc., I think there's, that's the next frontier. Sometimes that's a little more challenging because the tumor cells are kind of hunkered down in a very protective environment with a difficulty to get the, the effector cell right to the tumor. But some of that work is really looking exceedingly exciting. And I think if that becomes a therapy that can be exported to all of the patients with a variety of different solid tumors, I think that's going to revolutionize how we treat patients and hopefully have much better outcomes for some of the diseases that are proving pretty stubborn and, and difficult to treat at this point.